In today's UBC lesson, we are going to revise our addition and subtraction, and we're going to have a revision. So the first thing we are going to talk about the addition of multi-digit numbers without trading. And we already know what multi-digit numbers are. They are the numbers that have more than one digit when we add them. So if we have two numbers, 34 plus 65, and the first thing that we need to add these two numbers is to stack them up. So we stack them up by putting them into columns of their value, where ones places are in one column and tens places are in one column. Then we draw the line right underneath to write the answer and the plus sign to show that we're adding. And we always start with the number on the right, which is the ones place, and then make our way to the left to the tens place. So we'll add the ones first, 4 plus 5 equals 9, and then we'll move to the tens place, 3 plus 6 equals 9, and the answer is 99. Next we are going to talk about the addition of multi-digit numbers but with trading. So if we want to add these two numbers, 35 plus 76, the first thing that we need to do is to stack them up. So we put the ones places in one column and the tens places are in one column and of course we draw the line underneath to write the answer and the plus sign to show that we're adding. And as always, we always start from the ones and then which is the number on the right and then make our way to the left. So if you add the digits 5 plus 6, you will get the answer 11, which is a two digit number and that takes the space of our tens place answer. So to make space for our tens place, what are we going to do? right and good remembering we're going to have to carry the next digit that we don't have room for up to the top of the next number column in this example tens place so that we can add it with the rest of the digits in that column then we'll add the tens three plus seven plus that one that we carry which is eleven so the answer of 35 plus 76 is 111 in the next part of the video, we're going to talk about subtraction without borrowing and of course of multi-digit numbers. If we have a problem like 69 take away 37, the first thing that we need to do to solve the problem is to stack the numbers up. So we put the numbers into the columns of their value where ones places are in one column and tens places are in one column. Then we draw the line right underneath to write the answer and the minus sign to show that we're subtracting. And as always we start with the number on the right which is the ones place and then make our way to the left to the tens. So starting from the ones places, 9 take away 7 equals 2, then moving to the tens places, 6 take away 3 equals 3, and the answer is 32. Next we are going to talk about the subtraction of multi-digit numbers with borrowing or regrouping. So if we have a problem like 45 take away 29, the first thing that we need to do of course is to stack them up. So ones places in one column and tens places in one column and then start subtracting from the ones place. 5 take away 9. Can we actually take away 9 from a 5? I don't think we can because 5 is smaller than 9. Then what are we going to do? So if the number on top is smaller than the number at the bottom, then borrowing is the one that is coming to the rescue. So we're going to borrow a 10 from the tens place, which will change the number 4 into a 3, and then adding that 10 to our ones place that will change that 5 into 15. That's much easier now. So 15 take away 9 equals 6, and then tens place, 3 take away 2 equals 1, and our answer is 16. But in reality, addition and subtraction are very closely related to each other. They are like members of a family. They are sometimes called inverse operations, which means they can reverse each other. Understanding that addition and subtraction are related can help solve many equations. When subtraction seems difficult, it can help to think of its related addition fact. In other words, think addition in order to subtract. 
For example, Josh read 23 pages of his book during free time. His friend Sarah only read six pages. How many more pages did Josh read than Sarah? So, if you think addition to subtract, instead of saying 32 take away something equals six, you can try six plus something equals 32. And then, if you know your facts, you will know the answer would be 26.